welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first speed build and I'm going to show you guys the bowling center that I built. For this build I use base game and the bowling pack only. So if you only have the bowling pack and nothing else, don't worry, you can still download it. It's in the gallery. I will put my name on the screen so that you can see what my name is in the gallery and can download it. So I'm going to talk you guys through it, how I made it as you can see. I am already doing some stuff with walls. Now what I wanted to do is use the foundations to create a effect of having a higher bowling center and a lower part when you walk. But all of it is going to be inside. You'll see later on what I mean exactly with it. Maybe you already understand what I'm doing. And the walls that I put at first that I just deleted were for measuring to make sure I put everything in the middle because I do like it a lot when it's like that. So you see now this is going to be the inside. So the first part that I lifted up a little bit is uh, going to be the higher part and I want all the rest of it to be ground floor. So because of that we will get a difference in level inside the building. I was playing around a little bit to get it to work properly because as you could see it wanted to lift it all up and, uh, and delete the inner part that I created and obviously I didn't want that. But with the rooms I was able to make it like that because this is how I wanted it. So the entrance lower the first part and then where the actual business is happening that part can be lower. So the middle part is going to be where the bowling alleys are going to be and the side parts are going to be well either recreation or other functional parts. For this build I wanted to use attic windows. Um, you can see me make them here. Basically you just take a roof and you use the glass to make it see-through. Then you hide the roof part inside a wall and you stretch out one side. You can press shift to only do one side and that way you can create these glass walls. I'm going to do these two floors up. You'll see that later on. So continuing to Okay, there we go. The bowling alleys. I had to measure everything properly because I also wanted to add some uh, tables and everything to it so that they could, you know, like in an actual bowling alley, uh, bowling center that you can also enjoy at a table, have a drink and then bowl again. I don't know, really know how bowling centers look like in other countries, but we have this typical bowling um, uh, like tables with chairs um, like connected to it. It wasn't in the bowling pack and it was really really a pity because like I don't know that's like one of the most typical things in bowling centers here in Europe so I was like oh why doesn't it have those but in the end I just I do really like the tables that we did get it's just you know I really would have liked it even more if we had those as well so I had to use these round tables and all those other sorts of tables to get it to work. So this is the idea that I wanted to create, you know, this higher part where you play the bowling. And it also helps with the, you know, when you walk around, you look up to the bowling alleys. That's really the kind of effect I wanted to create. Now I'm just like cozying it up with different kinds of tables. I think for here I just used the brown ones, yes, and then I used the blue bowling center ones for other areas. But because I used the wooden um, fences here, I really liked using the wooden tables as well. Also, I multiple times went to live mode to check if the sims could actually sit on them, especially because I was putting couches and chairs and everything sometimes sort of into a fence or sort of into a wall where without the BB move objects cheat you wouldn't be able to place them but it doesn't necessarily mean that because you place them with a cheat that they aren't accessible so I tested that and everything still works um, so you might be able to see me switch to live mode a couple of times during this speed build so here we go, the flooring, as you can see, this is all going to be inside. Don't worry, um, the attic windows actually close off the room. So you should even be fine with seasons. Not that I have seasons, but I've been told. <laughs> but it is actually like I'm using flooring and everything, so it should be fine. <laughs>
here I'm again adding those attic windows to create that idea of the window of like the, the glass walls folding outwards. And as you can see, I'm like really playing around with them, trying to get them correctly. If you ever want to use attic windows, I do suggest you first build the whole building, like the walls and everything in the rooms, and then place the attic windows because they can be quite the nightmare. Because every time you adjust a room, as you can see I just did, it deletes your attic windows. It's horrible really. Like they're super pretty, but do them lost. <laughs> You'll be fine, they will probably fit in there. Um, as long as you make sure that you don't put them in a room. Which is, by the way, something you can like secretly fix. Because you can't place attic windows inside a room. Or so you think. You can, actually. It's just that you have to place the wall somewhere in your screen. Like somewhere random. And just like one wall. You place it, you let go of it, and you take the wall and you move it and you put it where you want it. And then you will put four pieces of wall around that tiny part of the ceiling that you don't want to see. And it will not see it as a room because you place them separately. So you didn't use the room tool or just place them after each other. It's it's It might be a bug, I don't know, but it's really useful because that way you can still hide your... Uh, ceilings, your, your your attic windows inside a room. I use that a lot. See, this is I'm doing it right now. So I placed all the walls separately instead of using the room tool because of that they did not disappear. That's the trick here. <laughs> because it totally reminded me of a bowling center but in the end I decided to only use these inside because from the outside it, it's just really an inside sort of thingy <laughs> it's a bummer really that you can't use pillars against attic windows because it turns them black because it doesn't understand what's going on and even as you can see here the um, the wallpaper doesn't respond as you would want it because it sees it as a separate part so even that wouldn't work so if you want decoration you're gonna have to do stuff like this now I just took, took like a giant arch and I place it against the wall don't worry it's still accessible you can still put a door there and they can still walk through it you will have to use the cheat again but you can actually go through it I tested it I don't really know why you aren't able to put a door under an arch like, I sort of understand that objects can't be on top of each other, but then at the same time, it's not like this arch is actually blocking any sort of way. It would also be really cool if we could get arches as an actual door. I know that we have, like, a couple of simple arches, but I mean, like, really these kind of pretty ones, you know, with flowers and everything. So that you could really build it into your... 
uh, in it you're warm. So here I wanted to create some sort of reception and I also wanted to make sure that they actually go that way because now if they walk in they would go straight to you know the bowling alley but in an actual bowling alley, bowling alley you first go to the reception you put on your shoes and then you go to the bowling alley. I still wanted to you to make sure that you see the bowling alleys first. Why? Because it's like your first impression. It must be pretty but by using that half wall Every sim is forced to walk sideways, so they either go left or right. And I put the reception on the left, you can still see the tiny bit, the blue one. I know it's not really a reception, but I made it, like, in my head, it's a reception. It was just to help out with the idea of a reception. <laughs> so sad when I figured out that you can't actually take the shoes out of the rack and let your sims try them on. I was like, but why do we have those objects? It's like one of the basic things you do when you enter. Like, like it's, it's, it's part of the culture of bowling. Like, you go to a bowling center and you first put on your shoes and then you're with a group of friends and the first one's like, I need to go to the toilet. While the others are like still putting their shoes on and everyone's like, yeah, sure, go. We, we're still busy anyway. And then it, they come back and then like the next person's like, oh my God, I need to go to the toilet. And we're like, okay, whatever, we'll just wait, go on. And that continues until everyone went to the toilet and you're all there waiting with your shoes on before you can finally go to the reception and say, okay, we're ready. <laughs> Let's go bowling. <laughs> Or maybe that's just me and my friends, I don't know. Well, either way, because of that, I wanted to create the toilets next to the reception, next to where the 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 shoes are. So that's basically what I'm going to build over here. Obviously, I also build it because when you're traveling with your sims, you're bringing to, uh, them to activities or whatever, they will always need to go to the toilet. There are like basic necessities that every plot must have in the sims. Otherwise, it's not really going to work. So, I placed um, some toilets as well as some dressing rooms. I know that they won't necessarily be functional, but just for the fun of it. Um, and there are also sims in this plot. They will probably not come with it, but it would be cool if you already placed some sims in this build and then let your other houses visit this place, because then it would be like much, much fuller, which obviously makes everything a lot more fun, because in an actual bowling alley, you also have lots of people. And I think a mod that would give you the possibility to place like 20 sims over here would definitely be an advantage. Because I don't really know how many sims can play in one bowling alley. But I think you can put quite a lot of sims in this building without anyone being unable to play when they want to. So that's pretty cool. As for the here, the toilets and everything, I tried to make them the same as much as possible. There is of course a distinction between the bathroom and the dressing room. Oh, there's also lockers by the way. Oh, that is a life edit object. I also put a shower in there just in case, you know, you never know when your sim's feeling dirty and they're too dirty and too ashamed to play bowling. So, for that, whatever. And I really like those uh, mirrors, the, the star mirrors with the, with the lights. I don't know, it just, I liked it. <laughs> oh yeah, I did change up the lights. I don't really know why, but like the bowling alley lights that we had for some reason didn't give much light. So, I ended up changing them for others. <laughs>
about you guys, but like for me, bathrooms need to be tiles. That's like the basic rules. But I do like to place like tiny mats around the toilet and the and just outside of the shower, because you know that just like makes sense for when you like knock out like when you're coming out of the shower, you don't want to step on the cold tile floor, so you step on a towel. I don't know if you guys do that, but we do that. We put towels outside the shower so that when we come out, not the whole shower is or like the whole bathroom isn't wet. <laughs> it's just where you put the towel, and then you can just. I don't know, throw the towel in the wash and there you go, <laughs> no wet floor and around the toilet I don't really know why we do that maybe because it's comfortable when you're sitting on a toilet on your bare feet, I think I don't know why we do that actually maybe also for when the toilet is you know, flushing too bad and water comes out I don't really know why we do that <laughs> it doesn't really make too much sense but it's like a typical thing that we do I just like put a little bit of European culture in there. Ta-da! <laughs> ah, the upper floor. It was always the plan to open it up like I did because I wanted to create that idea that when you go into the bowling center, that straight forward you see the bowling alleys, but when you look up you will see a nice area to hang out which seems super fun and you're like, oh my god, I have to go there and check out because it looks so cool, I want to have some fun over there. You know, that kind of idea. I pretty much like that with all my builds that if you have multiple floors, you need to make them open to make sure that people can actually see what is going on over there and invite them to go there. Now this is going to be a tiny bit of a restaurant place. It's going to be different from the part that will, you will be able to see upstairs. Here the goal is chill, uh, it's food, it's quick also. It must also be relaxing so I didn't make it into like a fast food restaurant where it's uncomfortable. I did make it cozy but the goal here is to grab some food and then go back to like bowling. Um, I also won't put too many tables as per a normal bowling center, because normal bowling centers obviously have a lot of tables. For the Sims, it obviously is still a lot, but for like real life, it's not that much. Like if you compare it to how many bowling alleys there are, I won't put too many tables. Oh, and I also created this tiny lounge kind of place. Uh, it's not, in my opinion, it's not the coziest place to build this. Why? Because they're all sitting with their backs towards the rest of the restaurant. Meaning everyone can be looking at them without them seeing it. And in real life, that's something that really bothers me. Like, if you make a cozy place, make sure that the couches are placed against a wall. Because no one likes it that there's even the slightest possibility of someone looking at you without you even knowing. But for the Sims, I guess that's not really a problem. They don't really have that kind of feelings, <laughs> luckily, I think. Um, so yeah, because usually I don't really like it. Now I did break it up though, because I'm going to place quite a lot of half walls and decorations and flowers, as you can see already, to place two over there, to break that view a little bit, to make them feel a little bit more enclosed, to make sure that they don't feel so watched when they're sitting there. So here I'm using the bowling center tables. Now personally, I really like building base game because I know I, I really just like building, but I also like it when people can enjoy my builds and I know that not everyone has every pack. But I really like using these bowling alley tables. They're so amazing. They're like so much fun. I don't know what it is really, they're like so different, they're like really cute but also really simple and they have such a nice color and also the, because there's like multiple colors, there's like a lot of colors with these tables and they're all so nice so I really like using them, like they add so much to it, they're so fresh, they look like I don't know, when I see them I'm like I want to have you in real life <laughs> they're like one of my favorite tables in The Sims I also really like using these, um, what, how do you call that in English? You know, like, it's not fences, it's like plants, it's like, um, um, I don't know how you call them. Well, anyways, they're really cool. They freshen up the area, giving it that nice green touch. And don't worry, I am going to change the wallpaper here. At first, I just used everything with this blue. They really look like bowling balls, right? Like, I know they're not bowling balls because they only have one hole. 
but they sort of really do remind me of bowling balls, and I thought it was really nice touch for the bowling alleys. So I'll keep it. I'll keep it in the bowling alley, but I won't keep it in the other areas, because as you can see, I'm trying to make this look cozy. Oh, carpets! I am not the biggest fan of the carpets that we have in The Sims, to be honest. Uh, they are very specific, like very specific. I was looking like I like carpets that are simple. Like not too many colors, not too not too vibrant, just calm. And all of the carpets are so specific in The Sims. They all have, I don't know, like shapes on them and lines and so many colors usually. They're all so vibrant. They're like when you place them, they they become the most important thing in the room. And I don't really like that. I prefer calm carpets. They need to be an extra touch to the room instead of being so permanently available. Like, like it's the first thing you see. There's such eye catches. Like, if I were to make a carpet museum, they would be really cool. But <laughs> I'm not making a carpet museum. <laughs> well, maybe I could do that. Oh, I also had like a great idea yesterday. I'm going to make a prison cell. You can play prison with your sims. Doesn't that sound like super fun? And then you can have like privileged sims who are installed. And then you can have the sims who are not privileged. And we could even make like a cold room and everything. Well, you would have to have seasons for that, of course. But still, it sounds really fun. And we could put a gym. Because, you know, what prison doesn't have a gym? I think. Like, I never went to prison, by the way. <laughs> so I wouldn't know how they look like. I just have like movie references. <laughs> Well, here comes the upper level. It's going to be a sort of cool lounge. I had to walk my way up with the through the roof to get there. Here we go. Tables. I really think that's important to place tables like there so that people can see from upstairs. Okay, this is a area where you can sit. I don't really know why that's important, but just think of like every public space that has restaurants on a higher level with these kind of openings. There's always tables at this at, at these places you know where at the overlooking point so i'm sure it has like a great effect it's probably very very logical to do that so as you can see i'm adding a lot of activities over here they can play they can uh you know play games play piano they can sing work on their com comic on their how do you even say that you know like on their jokes <laughs> another bar obviously going to dress it up. They can even read books. So I really wanted to make sure that there's a lot of activities so that every kind of sim with every kind of hobbies and aspirations can have something to do in this build. Because I think that no matter what kind of build you make, you must always take into account that sims have different traits and not everyone likes the same things. Which is also sort of in real life. I don't know how whirling centers are in your country, but here we like to have multiple activities inside the bowling center so that even people who aren't the biggest fan of bowling can still have things to do. Now this can be like really small things like playing snooker or playing darts. That kind of activities, reading a book is usually also in there, playing pool, all sorts of things are usually included inside the building. Sometimes it even goes further, like you have a lot more, there's like complete different things. It's not strange to have a combination of a bowling center and an escape room or a movie center or stuff like that. But to do that, I would have to like use multiple packs. And I didn't want to do that because... You know, let's just say that there's someone who only has bowling pack or who doesn't have the other packs that I'm using. Because I really think that the bowling pack is rather specific. I really wanted it because of the bowling, uh, yeah, like the extra options it gives you. I could literally build a bowling center. That's basically the main reason why I built, like, why I wanted this pack. But if you're not into bowling and you're like, why would I do that? I don't even like building. I'm never going to place a bowling alley. Then I can totally understand people not buying it. And the same goes for like many other packs. Some are really specific. So you must really like either really like building or really like the activity that it like entertains, encloses, includes, whatever. 
So as you can see, I already changed the wallpaper of this build and look at that, the bar is coming around nicely. I really like the combination of green, stone and wood. So I used here the, the the nature kind of looking wallpaper, added stone wall. I really like adding stone walls for the DJ part. It has this cool effect and then some pillars, but I really prefer these specific pillars that I used here because they add such a, I don't know what it is really. Like, of course, in real life, this would be where the music boxes are, where the music comes from. But in my build, I guess I just use them as decoration. But it still kind of gives the same effect, if you know what I mean. Now it's about time we change the outside. I wanted to create that tiny bit of a, you know, those those ponds in the wild. I don't really know, like, I like that. <laughs> to just use objects and pretend like they're in the wild, like they're part of nature or something. I know they're not, but still, it's so cool. Oh, here I realized that I didn't place them against the wall and I have more space than I thought I had. Because <laughs> I've been squeezing a couch in there in, at the corner and it wasn't even necessarily because I could have totally fit it in there. I think wallpaper is coming around now somewhere. So yeah, there we go. Stone and wood again. I really like this darker wood here. It made it a tiny bit thinner as well. But also like a lot cozier, it's so nice with the blue tables. It immediately like changes the whole atmosphere, it suddenly became a cozy place to be. Now I don't think you need to activate your BB Move Objects cheat to place this build. Because I mostly used it when the game was being annoying. For example, here for some reason it wanted my curtains outside instead of inside. Super weird. So I used a cheat to get them on the inside where they belong. Well, anyways. Um, and yes, I did try to wiggle the windows in and out to see if that made a difference. But it just really, really wanted it to look like that. I don't know why. Here we go, stone outside. Because it's more of a color for the bowling alley to use. Oh, and that there we went. Also, the toilet and everything. Oh yeah, here I was playing around with this a little bit. At first, I liked it. But then I was like, no, I want it differently. I ended up going for a see-through roof over here. Making sure you can look inside. Well, actually, the whole goal was to create views where you can like create more... Um, light inside of your builds. That was really what I wanted. And I really like that. I think it's like a honeycomb type, type of see-through ceiling that I used there. I really like it. It's making me think I want to make it like a, you know, honeycomb. <laughs> Not that that makes sense. But like a honeycomb inspired house would be pretty cool. Well, anyways, again, more decorating it with tiny ponds. And I put that nice billboard over there. And I do think I'm in life and it's objects here. So I did use it. Okay, then you do need the BB Move Objects cheat because otherwise they will disappear. Everything looks nice when I place it. I do pay a lot of attention to this because in the end I do build it to make sure that people like actually want to download it, which makes it very important that it looks nice on the pictures as well. And there we go. We have our bowling center. Do enjoy my show. <laughs>